Good day, brethren. You're welcome to RCCG New Covenant Parish's Open Heavens Daily Devotional. The Open Heavens Daily Devotional is written by our Father and the Lord, the General Overseer of the Redeem Christian Church of God, Pastor E. Adeboy. And I pray that as you join me today, God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, October 28, 2024, we are looking at the topic, When God is Near. Our memory verse is taken from Isaiah 55, verse 6, which says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. A text is taken from Psalm 29, verse 2, which says, Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The Bible says you should seek God while he may be found and call on him while he is near. Once you hear that, the next question on your mind should be, How do I know when God may be found or when he is near? The question is very, that question is very valid. However, what you really need to know is how to draw him near to you. John 4, 22, 23-24 says, But the hour comment and now is, When the true worshipper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, and the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. The scripture above tells me that rather than trying to seek God while he may be found, when I cannot even see him, if I worship him in spirit and in truth, he will be the one to seek me out. Instead of me calling him out, calling him without knowing whether he is near or far, if I just concentrate on worshiping him, he will draw near to me. If you want to, if you want God to always be near you, you must be committed to worshiping him like no one else does. He is drawn to people that worship him. Psalm 22 verse 3 says that God inhabits the praises of Israel. Israel here refers to those who worship him in spirit and in truth. So, the Bible says we should seek God while he may be found. And we should call on him while he is near. But then how can we ensure that God is near? How do we know that God is near? Well, like we've been reading, we see that if you worship God, you draw him close to you. God comes closer to you when you worship him. So worship is the secret. If you're a worshiper, you will constantly be in the presence of God because God is drawn to worshippers. So if you want to be able to access the throne of God, which is be a worshipper, worship him constantly, give him praise constantly. When you do that, he will constantly be with you and you will constantly sense his presence. People generally move towards where they are being praised. Where I'm from in the western part of Nigeria, according to our Father and the Lord, if you're at a party and the musician suddenly starts singing your praises, it is expected that you stand on your feet and go towards him while dancing. That is what happens when we sing praises to God. It draws near, uh, near us. This is one major secret that David knew, which made God answer his prayers. He said that whenever he wanted to approach God, he went in with praises and thanksgiving, Psalm, according to Psalm 100 verse 4. By the time he had praised and thanked God for a while, he would find himself in the very courts of God. Once he had God near him, he would call on him and be sure to receive answers to his prayers. So we see King David using this secret. He always approached God's presence, God's courts, with praise and thanksgiving. And after worshipping God for a while, he will find himself in the very presence of God. And then he can call upon him to present his request and present his case present his situation and circumstances before him. So if we want to know and be sure that we are in the presence of God, let us approach him with worship. Let us praise him. Let us worship him. Like our Father and Lord said in, um, in, in some parts of Nigeria, when the musician starts to sing the praises of someone, it is expected that that person stands up, draw, draws near to the musician and begins to bestow gifts in that cash or kind. On the musician so it is with us and god if we worship god we praise him we use this concept we constantly find that god is being drawn to us and then we can call upon him while he's near and he will answer us beloved henceforth deliberately draw god close to you at all times with praise and worship so draw god close to you with praise and worship and then you'll be able to call upon him and he will answer you our key point says, don't ask God for anything until you have praised him enough to draw him close to you. So that's the secret that we have been told here. Don't ask God for anything until you first of all praise him enough that he draws close to you. Then you can make your request known. I pray that God will continue to grant us wisdom and his divine secrets in Jesus' name. Let us pray. 
Father, we thank you for your word to us today. Thank you because we know that you constantly want us to be in your presence. Help us to be worshippers, to be true worshippers indeed, so that we we'll abide in your presence, so that you constantly draw close to us, and so that you can hear us when we call in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we've prayed. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you.